It's not even recording. Where are they? Oh, go closer. Hold on. Okay. No, I'm not jumping in. I'm filming. You guys jump in. Go. One, two, three. <laughs> so scared of us all staring at him. No, we won't stare at him. <laughs> He's so cute. Let's just we'll make him go potty and let's leave him here. He's fine. Okay. Like, I don't want to leave him in the car. Okay. Yeah, we'll just be a couple yeah. hours this time. Yeah. Uh, Lenny's pooping as we speak. Good job, Winston. And can't see me at all. Nope, still can't see me at all. 
All right, there's our hotel. Looks pretty, pretty nice. It is pretty nice, actually. It's windy, boy. I'm just drinking this beer. It's called, uh, it's from Georgetown Brewing. You'll get nothing and, and like it, it says. Maybe a pale ale, an IPA. It's pretty good. <laughs> Not to go to Red Lobster. 30 minutes. Kisses. Chowing. Oh, chowing. What when is that? Look, when you look, it's a gift no. bag. Oh, 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 oh. It's a makeup bag. <laughs> you should zoom in on this. That's pretty cool. They have a photo of. Well, I'm smoking? No. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. And now all of this. <laughs> you have okay. I can tell that it's four or nine. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, it says four or nine. Okay, let's see what Winnie has. Oh wait, what was he? Oh my god. He's deaf. He's deaf. Bye all. Don't be mean though. He's so sweet. He's so sweet. He'll smell us. He'll smell good. We should let him snuggle with us. Yeah, he'll smell uh, red lobster. Smell fish. I feel bad now. Bobby, no, no. Bobby, no. For eight hours? No, it well, the times we brought him, he was. That's when we were gone for a long time. Yeah, that's true. Not like one or two hours. It's all like relaxed. I wonder if he does it You're such a kid. I'm a kid. Can you get a little tired of No. No, he's so peaceful. Whatever, he's uh, <laughs> been barking all this morning. My father said I can't poop from my own room. <laughs> my body then go poop. <laughs> Look, if you want to poop up here, I'll make the exception this one time. Yeah, we need to make it tomorrow. Look, but we got a break, so you said you like to poop with Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you said. I prefer that. Robbie over. said he just prefers poop. I prefer that over raw poop. <laughs> No, we're gonna go in there. Yeah, nobody was. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. I'm in there. Yeah. Where? Oh, I'll just change it. I don't care how I look Where? I honestly really don't care. I'm heading off. Then, y'all. Say goodnight. We are. I'm taking this side. Okay, goodnight. <laughs> <laughs> what a weirdo. Oh, he's having a seizure in a dream. He's not having a seizure. He's just dreaming about running. Hi, buddy. Okay, he's like... Yeah. <laughs> okay, but we do need to give him dinner, though. Oh, my God. I mean, William and me. Hi, little buddy.
count. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it's eight. <laughs> I'd have to like name them off, but yeah. Um, and then uh, the next day we kind of drove to my hometown where I grew up, uh, Shelton, Washington, and then I showed Cha Cha my couple of my childhood homes, two out of three of them, I guess. And uh, I see a little town. It's actually kind of cute and quaint, but also like dead. Like there's no industry there whatsoever. Um, and then we had lunch at my sister's house again, watched a movie or two with the family, and then we had dinner at Red Lobster. Uh, another cool part was a swimming. Robbie and Sophie back here to the pool, hotel pool, and we got to do some swimming and get in the pool. Was really cool. Awesome. Is there anything else that I missed that you like? Uh, um, having dinner. Did you really say dinner? With them at Red Lobster. Yeah, yeah, that was and really nice. And just like getting a picture and hopefully we get to see them. I mean, not soon, soon, but hopefully it's not five years. to get into Oregon, seeing if you're up or not, uh, but uh, yeah, so just give me a call back or text me an address of where we can meet.
so funny. <laughs> Oh you God, just peed on that tree, more, Winnie. Jesus. Kick more dirt. Watch out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the wrong mode. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay, a little, a little late. Two minutes late. But we're at 7:58. I missed the eight-hour eight mark. And how do you feel after seeing Mike? Uh, it was good. It was good, yeah. Missed him a lot. I uh, saw him, what, a year and a half or two years ago, briefly. Briefly? It was like three days, wasn't it? Yeah. Or two days. I mean, it was a short one, but... Yeah. This was briefly. Yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Um, but yeah, it was good. Got to catch up a little bit see what he's been up to and his life updates and then you know vice versa yeah, yeah. he brought him he beer and he was thankful for that buddy. <laughs> I think yeah he said something along the lines of oh hell yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that's good yes. should we mention Winnie's bark color <laughs> ooh yeah we should... uh, well it, it might be working he's he hasn't bar he only barked once so he was like barking like crazy. I'll face it this way. Barking like crazy yesterday on the freeway and I was like, you can't do this. And then we go to PetSmart and we got a bark collar, but we didn't put it on until today. And so we think it works because he hasn't barked and he's been like pretty calm and he's like laying down. Well, he barked one time after we got out of Starbucks with Mike. Yeah, he barked once and then that was it. Yeah, and in the mirror I could see him kind of like And he looked all sad. <laughs> like his, his body kind of tensed up. Aw, so we think it works, but we're we're gonna take it off at whenever we get gas on the next stop. The first night we got there, he oh, didn't really sleep, what? right? So anxious, yeah. Yeah, he was super anxious and there was like chacho sweater on the ground, so he felt like, I mean, he did lay on it a few times, but he was just, up and down and then at midnight I saw him staring outside the window just yeah. sitting. He was just pacing back and forth for hours. Like yeah. That. It was almost like when we first adopted him. Yeah. He was just like not as you know, it's a new place and he doesn't know what's going on. I didn't really prepare any questions, but we've been together four years. So don't thinking, make this hard. <laughs> maybe we review our last four years together. Oh. Well, the first year, I remember, um, I think you were at your apartment and you were going to spend it alone, I think. And then, well, my family never does anything for Thanksgiving or the holidays. They just, at least my immediate family doesn't. And then my extended family lives mostly in Vegas. But you were gonna make dinner, and so I decided to go spend it with you. And the second one we didn't spend together, because that's when I was in my apartment. So we weren't together for that Thanksgiving. Okay. Then the third one, I don't know. I don't remember. <gasps> Winnie, you barked. Did it work? I think so. Oh. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Wait, that would be five years. Ago. So the time said 6.01 and then it jumped to 5.55. Or 5.56, now it's 5.55. I told you some of the time is scamming us. Time is the talk of the hour. It's you, your it's family. Me. So tell everybody about you, your My family. family. Um, I have one brother and like step siblings, but we don't really talk to them on my dad's side. But we don't really celebrate the holidays. We haven't for like years. The last time I made Thanksgiving dinner, I guess, was like 2014, 2015. Oh, it might be too close. And that was in the first apartment I moved into in Carson. And then after that, 
I've tried to get them together, like go to, uh, we've actually gone to like restaurants for Thanksgiving or took my mom out right. one time to like Chinese food because that's the only place that's open. Thanksgiving day, yeah. yeah, but it's only like her and then I just basically try to reunite them, but they just are not like that. And so yeah. I think for me, the holidays, they weren't as special with like my immediate family, even though I wanted it to be, but because we don't do anything, I just got so used to it. And as a kid, I don't know. We didn't really even have a tradition though. We didn't like make turkey. My mom doesn't like turkey. I think my dad is more, a little more family oriented, but they're just, they're just really not though. They're not like normal family. They didn't care about my graduation. <laughs> yeah, my, the story, like oh, the whole story. Okay, well, I was graduate graduating from UNR. That was like 2017, and you know they already knew about my graduation, but they basically didn't see me walk up the stage because they were running late. And then I remember calling, like maybe five minutes before, because our so I graduated graduated in community health sciences and so our college was about to go up and then my dad said that they basically weren't gonna come because they were gonna be late already but then they ended up showing up but I was already like off the stage by then so that was a little disappointing but it's okay I had other friends that were there yeah. at the time and um, but it was upsetting though because that wasn't important to them. But it was important to me. I'm like the only one that went to college. <laughs> I'm the black horse in the family. Dark horse. Oh. Black <laughs> sheep. Like black horse. Black sheep, dark horse. How are you guys doing back there? <laughs> Robbie. Seventeen years old. Oh, I left home at seventeen years old too. You want to go first, or you want? To go oh, okay. I I guess yeah. I can go first. I left. Why? Why did you leave home at seventeen years old? Um, because I. Well, now that I'm like older, I do appreciate like the hometown where I'm from, which is South Lake, which is a very popular place. Um, it's like you know, one of the most beautiful lakes on earth. <laughs> at least that's what they say. Anyways, it's a tur touristy spot now, but at the time I was so young to appreciate the little hometown, but it was mostly because I didn't want to stay there and, you know, people were just content in a small town where there wasn't much okay? growth at that time. Don't gotta be depressed. It's so right. I also didn't want to be kind of like my family just oh, like stuck wait, or like not have any money. What is that? So I decided to go move far, far away because I wanted to be far, far away from my family and just like do something new, like not be stuck in a little hometown yeah. or a little town. Um, so I moved to Vegas, which I had a lot of family there, but I mean, I was 17. It was really hard to get a job. I wasn't even 18 yet until maybe like I don't know, three months later, then I ended up getting two jobs, started the community college, but it, it just didn't work out. Like financially, it was hard. And my family convinced me to come back, which I'm grateful for, or else I would have never, would never have had what I have right now. Or like gone to school or did all of that. So I'm glad I'm back, but it, it's much healthier if I have distance away from my family. What about you, Chacho? Yeah, so... Uh, I guess Tell I... Me more. Tell me more! <laughs> Tell me more! <laughs> I don't know where to start. I mean, I guess I don't need to go like all the way back to like my early childhood. No. 
can save that for another time. But yeah, 17 years old, uh, you know, kind of finishing up high school. I didn't really have any clue what I was going to do. There wasn't really any options in my hometown. Um, you know, I think during the course of this trip and video, like, I explained like where I was from. And, um, I don't think we recorded any of actually going there, but it was just like this little town with really nothing to do and no industry. There was like a lumber mill. And actually one of the things I wanted to do when I grew up was like be a logger or a lumberjack. Mm -hmm. That's what I, that was like my thing. Like I was I a little boy that. and I was like, I want to be a lumberjack. Because <laughs> um, that was kind of like a thing in my town. Like yeah, it was a logging town. Yeah, know more than that. Yeah. Uh, I didn't do that, thankfully. I'm not cutting down trees for a living. Um, so I joined the army at 17 years old and just moved away. Like a, within a week or a week and a half after graduating high school, I left for basic training at 17 years old. We missed the 4 o'clock. It's 3 56. Yeah. Oh. So you turned up camera and I feel like this always happens but like oh, I we keep on we, we keep up the conversation like after the camera is off already oh. and then <laughs> and then there's like really good stuff really good material that, that oh, you mean I like think is interesting but then the camera's already off so we miss it and then we're like wait we already talked about that or wow. did we so you want me to say like when I start working and why <clears throat> yeah or yeah. is that what you're so, talking about yeah, maybe you could like lead into it, like what led up to that point. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, it was like a little before. So my parents, well, actually my dad had two restaurants and a laundromat and a gift shop. And it was like thriving. It was doing so well. And then it was like, it must've been like 2008. Like when there was, when it was getting into that recession, like he was just struggling, like businesses in South Lake were super slow. And <laughs> tell me more. Um, and then, so I decided because we were gonna lose our house, like my dad just couldn't afford the mortgage at 14. I decided that I could like save our house, so I decided to get a real job. Um, and I was actually, I started working with my dad like at 11. I was 11 years old, and I had to like every single day literally go to the restaurant and work or at the laundry room like i didn't have a life <laughs> and then um let's see at 14 i started working at rite aid and i told my dad that i would help him pay the mortgage so that's what i did <laughs> um and then I, I, i'm distracted yeah sorry about the rude children no <laughs> Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So at, at Rite Aid, that was my first job and I thought I could help my dad pay our mortgage at 14. I was like, I need a real job. Like I need to make real money, right? Cause working with my parents, I wasn't getting paid. Um, so I did that and you know, you would think 600 was a lot, but I would like contribute that way. And then there was one day where like I, I guess I just blew my whole check on like just buying things for myself and then when my dad asked about like my check he got mad and he's like you spent all of that and again I was like 600 like it wasn't much I was getting paid like 750 an hour but I worked all the time like I was always working um, and then I started feeling bad for buying stuff for myself even though I knew it was my own money but it's always been like that even like in college I was doing that and so I had to get two jobs and then the beginning of college like I wouldn't care about my classes I would fail but I'd be like sleep deprived because I'd be working two full-time jobs like one during the day one at graveyard and I would literally just fall asleep in class or just not go to school <laughs> I don't remember how many times I took like psych 101 but I took that like three times in sociology 101 until I was like you know what I I need to like focus on myself and 
that's when I actually did really good in school. Like, got straight A's one, one year in college. Uh, but it was very hard to manage. Like, trying to help your family. And it still didn't help. Like, we still lost our house. They still struggled financially. Uh, you know, I ended up going to college. They couldn't contribute to that. Like, I had to work and also grateful for like having financial aid and um, student loans had to get student loan yeah. and yeah just things that they would do like they took a car loan out of my car oh my God. like yeah. my little Celica and I had to pay that monthly and so it was bad there was days where I didn't even eat um, as, a as, grown adult, yeah. as a grown adult I, I was like Let's see, I worked at Carson Medical Group, and that's when I kind of started. Like, I was doing well in school, but holding, like, a full-time job. Yeah. I think I was part-time at school. That's the only reason why I was able to work there, because it was, like, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, nine to five job. But I was maybe 20 or 19, and to, like, not have food at home and just, like, you know, some reps would be bring like food to work, and it was sad. Now that I think about it, I was really sad, and I was an adult, and I like got out of that. I was like, no, I don't want this. That is really sad. For, uh, for your own family, that is more important to continue their lifestyle instead of living within their means. Yeah. Basically, uh, grooming you in order. Like, God forbid, you know, you mentioned you spent your own paycheck. Well, like, God forbid you spent your own paycheck on yourself. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. That's probably why, even till this day, if I, like, spend money on myself, I'm, like, guilty. Yeah. Like, I get that guilty feeling. I don't know why. I just do. That's just a, That's just how I am. Even though I, like, deserve it. Like, it's my money. I work for it. Yeah. But I still have that <clears throat> guilt because of where I, like, come from, I guess. Well, uh, you have more than that guilt. You brought up earlier about, oh, like, how much money have I, well, wasted. How much money oh. have I wasted on my mom's apartment? Yeah, I've wasted, what did I say, $27,000 in the past two years. And so, just my whole life has <laughs> been, like, I try to save my family. And then it always just, like, affects me in the long run. Yeah. Unfortunately. And and I don't know why, like, they don't care about me. They just, okay, maybe they do, but not in that way. Okay, now we're at three hours. I messed up by a minute. Three hours. So my least favorite food is Indian food. I don't like curry. Uh, Cause I got food poisoning the first time I tried it. Oh my god! So anything I smell that's curry it makes me super nauseous. Yeah, you never liked curry. No. When was that? When I first tried it, I was a kid. Oh, like how old? Oh, I must have been like twelve or eleven. Yeah. There was like. kids throw their trash away. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and then just kind of unload the bags, unload the dog. And chill. Yeah. Chill. Well, yeah, yeah, once we get all unloaded, then just definitely just chill. I know. I'm not uh, packing tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not packing tonight. Clean up tomorrow. Yeah. Either pour a little whiskey or have a beer and uh, just hang out with you and hug you. How are you? What a Christmas movie? Yes. Is it Christmas, Christmas movie. movie time now? It is Christmas. Officially Christmas movie time. Hey. Tomorrow we're going to put up the tree. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Yeah, this will be really nice. 
closing topic? What's the closing topic? The closing topic is we made it home woo! last night. <laughs> Are they like, woo? We made it. We made it. Hi. We made it home Hi. last night. Can you see me? Uh, yeah, here. I'll... <laughs> yeah, I was just all it. Made it home last night around nine, and um, we didn't feel like filming, but we did cuddle up and watch um, some weird. Chris, a Cinderella story. Cinderella story. A it new was, version. It was super cringy, and I it's wanted sad. to pull my hair out the rest of the night. <laughs> you want hair? But um, we did. We didn't watch it, and we're home now. And that's it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> that's it. And that's it. Yeah, and it was a... Winnie was tired still. Laid mm -hmm. down on the couch. Hi, little Winnie. Yeah, he was such Hi, a good little boy. buddy. <laughs> He's like, okay. But. Yeah, so that's the end of our trip. And now, um, I don't know, I guess back to reality. Yeah, just so. getting ready for the work week. Mm -hmm. And we basically unpacked already. Basically it wasn't impact. too bad. Now we just have laundry, but I'll do that next weekend. Laundry, the car is absolutely full of dog hair, at least in the back. Mm -hmm. Crumbs from the children in the front. I don't know how they get so messy, but they do. I mean, Chacha's in the front.